Yes, sir, man. We back at it. I'm here today to bring y'all the top three NBA player builds in NBA 2K25. And no, I'm not talking about the NBA player builds that you can make right here from this section right here. I ain't talking about that because these builds, they, they stink. All right. If I'm literally going to show y'all like, okay, a power forward Kevin Durant build. This is the power forward Kevin Durant. A lot of finishing here. Contact dunks, standing dunk, decent post control. I mean, high shooting for sure for sure i mean that's pretty good shooting decent playmaking i just don't like the fact that his speed with ball is a 68 really would rather that be a 77 or not 77 a 70 um but his speed and agility is okay strength is down a little bit being 610 you probably want more strength defense is okay and rebounding is okay but i'm not liking this version of the kevin durant so yeah when i got in there and i started looking at that i'm like you know what i'm just gonna make my own and show y'all so i'll start out with the kevin durant build and we're gonna go 610 211 pounds with a 611 wingspan and this is how i would craft the build starting with finishing i'm going with an 82 close shot i'm going with a 67 driving layup even though yes i know kevin durant's layup is higher than that we're going for a specific purpose with this build and when i put all these attributes on and break it down you'll understand 57 standard dunk 86 uh for the post control midi i gotta go 92 midi because we want to make sure he gets gold badges and a little bit of hall of fame 83 for the limitless range on bronze 80 free throw yes kevin durant has a higher free throw than the 80 but trust me because look you just can't build kevin durant all the way to the t but you can get you know what i'm saying close to him as possible interior defense i'm going to a 70 perimeter defense i'm going with an 82 so we're already playing better defense than what the build they tried to give us did 73 steal and then i'm going 84 on the block rebound inside i'm gonna go 68 o board and i'm gonna go 80 d board right physicals i'm going 80 speed 75 agility 73 on the strength and then i'm going 75 vertical this is how i would have built the kevin durant build and then if you look at it i get posterizer on silver we get contact dunks i get standard dunk which is cool I get Hall of Fame post fade phenom with the 86 post control. If you want to max plus one it, you can get it to legend. But it also gives us a silver unpluckable on a 610 build, where if you didn't go 86 post control, you probably will only get unpluckable on bronze. 92 midi, he gets all gold shooting badges, except like I said, the Hall of Fame post fade phenom. But you can either max plus one this to legend, or you can max plus one dead eye to Hall of Fame, and then you really got Kevin Durant. 83 three ball gives you the limitless range, pass accuracy. 75 when he gets rebounds you can get break starter on silver you can also get dimer on silver then you got ball handle ankle assassin and handles for days is bronze but trust me this ankle assassin literally can make people stumble while it's on bronze speed with ball is a 70 because you want lightning launch on the build that they showed us you can't get lightning launch interior defense is a 70 paint patroller on silver we get challenger on silver a movable enforcer on bronze we also get a silver interceptor because our still is a 73 bronze glove and then we get high flying denier silver pogo stick bronze with the 84 block d board we got rebound chaser on silver and box out beast on silver and then the physicals look good for the specific kevin durant build if there was anything you probably wanted to change maybe you can drop pass accuracy to 71 and then i don't really know how much more layup you can get i mean maybe you can get a 70 layup or if you want some more strength but probably not a lot of strength 76 from 73 I mean, it just depends. 71, you get break starter on bronze and you get a uh, dimer steel on silver. I mean, I guess you only get one on post control. So post up poet goes to gold. It's up to you how you would want to do that. But I went 75 pass hack and that's my Kevin Durant. Now, if you go back to the NBA player builds and you look at LeBron James, they give LeBron high layup, high dunk, of course. 93 layup, because I think that's what you need for his uh, layup package. So 93 layup. 87 driving dunk that's fine his midi is a 73 his three pointers 83 lebron did shoot 40 percent from three last season so an 83 three ball is pretty good but he still has turnaround fadeaways and stuff in the midi so i probably would have made that higher and i also would have made his post control a little higher as well pass accuracy they went with 85 that's decent ball handle you want to go 81 for specific animations and a specific badge i think so they also gave him 76 speed and 71 agility with an 84 strength but i'm gonna show y'all mine i'm making my lebron james a small forward but we're still going 6'8 and we're still going 240 pounds 
with the seven foot wingspan. So for the close shot, I'm not gonna go as high as they went. I'm gonna go 77. I'm gonna go 87 on the driving layup, right? Then I'm gonna go 87 on the driving dunk because we're still gonna get contact dunks. His LeBron's dunk package is 84. That's all you need for his dunk package. Standard dunk can stay 47. Post control, we're gonna push this up to a 70. Mid-range shot, I'm going 85. Like I said, LeBron is still a capable midi man. So we get silver shooting badges right here if you do that. Three-point shot, gonna go to 83. Bronze, limitless range, LeBron can do that. I'm gonna go 74 free throw. He's not the best free throw shooter. Pass accuracy, I'm definitely going 85 on the pass hack. And like I said, ball handle, we're gonna go 81. Speed with ball, we are gonna go 75. That gives a silver lightning launch with a 75 speed with ball. If you wanna max plus one that and get it gold on a 6'8", 240 player, then cool. The 70 post control, I think also is what gave us unpluckable silver, but I'm not sure, but we do get post fade phenom on silver, which you know what I'm saying, that is LeBron James interior 64 perimeter defense 74 we're kind of building the lebron of right now we'll go 60 on the steel and then we'll go 78 on the block physicals i'm gonna give him an 80 speed i'm gonna give him a 71 agility i'm gonna give him an 84 strength right and then i'm gonna give him a 75 vertical now 71 agility is not that slow but like i said we're going with now version of lebron but if you wanted to save some points and do it if you didn't want your lebron to rebound that well that's on you me i like lebron rebounding so i gave him an 80 offensive rebound and that gave him rebound chaser on silver and i think that's because also the 80 offensive rebound costs less than the d board if i drop d board or o board to 65 i can't get an 80 uh d board it's just impossible so i went with the 80 o board 65 D board and this is basically how I crafted my LeBron James like I said you get flow game still you get physical finisher on silver you get layup mix master on silver you get posterizer silver with contact dunks post control you get post fade phenom you get the silver badges for the midi you get the 83 three ball you feel me pass accuracy you get the 85 so you still get bell out 81 ball handle for all the dribble moves that you could get at 6 8 75 speed with ball is lightning launch defensively I guess you could say it's a challenge, but he is 6'8", 240, and he rebounds the ball well. So if you get a stop, you can get a rebound. And then speed is at an 80, agility is at a 71. Strength, you get Hall of Fame strong handle on LeBron, and you get a 75 vertical. I mean, hey, it's my version of LeBron, and I, I feel like it's the best one. All right, now 2K doesn't have a Kobe Bryant build, but I decided to put one together and make one for y'all and i think that kobe bryant actually came out pretty smooth so we're going shooting guard 6'6 195 with a 6'9 wingspan and this is how the build looks all right i'm going 87 uh driving dunk for posterizer right 87 driving dunk with the 75 vertical you get posterizer and you get contact dunks we're going with 84 post control you get post fade phenom on hall of fame all right now yes we only get the silver unpluckable at 6'6 but on ball seals is not that bad so I feel like we're doing pretty fine. Midi, we went with a 94 midi. If you get cap breakers and put all five of your cap breakers on mid range, he gets a 99 midi, and all of your shooting badges go to legend. So even with a 78 three point shot, you'll have a legend dead eye, a legend set shot specialist, and a legend shifty shooter. Pass accuracy, Kobe leads all shooting guards in assist he's a top assist leader for the shooting guard position but we only gave him a 70 because of the way we needed to make the build 81 ball handle gets you all the dribble moves i think you have to get an 88 for kobe bryant's specific dribble moves but you don't really have to have his dribble moves we're just trying to make his build okay speed with balls at 86 we get the goal lightning launch interior defense is at a 60 perimeter is at a 92 so you're basically a lock as well you get contact dunks you get midi shooting you get ball handling and you basically get lock abilities on this build with all gold lockdown badges steel is on 73 so you get silver interceptor block is on a 45 i mean because you really can't drop it lower than this but you don't get anything it is what it is offensive rebound you get bronze rebound chaser with a 60 d board and a 45 o board 81 speed 83 agility 73 strength gives you gold strong handle and then a 75 vertical you know what i'm saying you need it for the contact dunks i don't know what this build is going to be called but as you see though shades of kobe bryant the first time 2k has actually gotten something right if i must say so myself and they call it a 2a3 level shot creator so these are the top three builds in nba 2k25 or well, the top three nba player builds in nba 2k25 man make sure y'all subscribe drop a like and i'll see y'all in the next one